no midweek game this week, so did that give you a chance to kind of rest some guys up, maybe take a little easy? Uh, you hope so. You know, I hope our guys took advantage of it. You know, this is a tough week for our kids, the last week of class leading into finals. So while we weren't on the field as much, they were still active with inning finals, projects, those type things. So uh, still a stressful week for these guys, but I hope physically they were able to get some rest. Mm -hmm. And coming up now this weekend with ETSU, you're one of like three or four teams bumbled up right there at eight and seven. How important is this series? I think the next three are real important. You know, one, just to get confidence and momentum going into the tournament. And then obviously there's the seeding aspect too, that you hope you can play well and position yourself as good as possible. So um, the biggest thing for us is to continue to try to progress and get better. You know, last week we had a good week and we were three and four last week against two good teams. So you hope that you can carry over that momentum. That's the downside of not having a midweek game is you have a little bit more of a break, but uh, we just need to get back out and hopefully play good baseball. What are some of the focuses for this weekend against ETSU? I think when you look at East Tennessee, they're really offensive. You know, they fit in well with our league of, of really scoring runs, you know, both from an average standpoint and a power component as well. So uh, we're going to have to pitch well. And uh, we did that last weekend against the leading hitting team in, in our league in Greensboro. So uh, we're coming off a weekend where we've had the pressure of pitching against a good lineup, and we're going to have to do it again this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then Austin Eden's name, Player of the Month in the conference. What can you say about the last month that he's had? Ah, he's been unbelievable. You know, it's really been a been a special month for him, and, and he did it last year. You know, that's the best thing about it is, you know, this is kind of the second year in a row where as we head into the home stretch, he's kind of heated up, and uh, he's carried our team at times. And you know, I just hope these uh, last four weeks he finishes up as good as he was last week.